Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Matt Sorect, and I'm getting PJ'd by these wild dogs. They're just freaking rushing me like crazy and tag teaming now. What is this? Anyway, um. So, welcome to episode number three of Let's Play RuneScape, my Let's Play series that you guys have been really eating up, and I'm glad that you guys are enjoying them. Really got an explosion of, of feedback last night on the video. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Um, lots of comments about the monsters that you love to see in my game design, so, um,. I will be keeping you updated on that. I'm definitely going to be using these wild dogs because they really are just irritating. As you can see, they just freaking PJ you. Oh, they're so useless. Uh, but, uh, anyway. I got four brand new topics to talk to you about. I'm glad you guys are really interested in this series and where I'm going to be going with it. I'm going to not be just doing Slayer, but for the first few episodes, I'm going to be doing some Slayer and some combat because I really want to start, you know, getting some stuff up. A lot of my skills are kind of low and they've been stagnant like my attack hasn't been going anywhere and I kind of want to get that up I did get 93 as you see there um, in the clip but you know I got four brand new topics to talk to you about and if you'd love to skip to any of them you could just hit those annotations on your screen and they go BAM right to the topic that you want to hear about so we got sizzling summer rewards the fact that I did not get all of my rewards I only got some of them and I'm owed like most of them still, but I'll tell you about that. I got some really crazy hobbies, and I do some magic tricks and stuff like that. I uh, will show you a clip of that. Uh, I'm pretty cool. I, you know, I, I grew up in a magic, I guess, household. My dad's a magician. Anyway, I'll tell you about that in a, in a few minutes. Uh, Two-handed bowling. I got to go bowling with Regicidal Lee. Um, uh, epic Rap Battles of History, you know him. RuneScape Rap Battles of History. That is Regicidal Lee. He was also on the live stream with me. I got to get pretty friendly with him, and I went bowling with him a couple of weeks ago. I'm um, hoping to get bowling with him again, but I'm going to tell you about my two-handed style of bowling. And those of you that have ever bowled before, bowling, like you actually go take three fingers, put it into a ball, and you bowl. But I do a different kind of style, and actually Lee does it too, so it's pretty interesting. Uh, but I'll tell you about that. And also, the final topic that I wanted to save and talk about last, and I know a lot of you guys are just going to skip to it because you're like, what? But, uh, yes, the PJ PvP timer, PJing, is going to be fixed. It's been confirmed by the latest live stream, and I'll tell you about that. I'll roll the clip to confirm it. I'm not just speculating. It's actually proof. It's actually been said out of Mar Mark's words. His mouth. Oh, I can't even talk today. Yes, I'm so excited. Yes, Mar Mark, blah, blah, Mar Mark said it in last week's live stream, last Sunday, actually. So, yeah. Anyway, let's begin with the sizzling rewards. Guys, I uh, logged in today, got a promissory note. I was owed from the August rewards. I never got the August rewards. Um, there was something wrong with my account, so unfortunately they had to roll it to the next month. But when I logged in today, I only had a promissory note that had 350,000 experience on it. So I was kind of like, what the heck? But I, I did use it on Slayer. I got 76 Slayer, so yeah. I used it on Slayer. I'm waiting for my 700k EXP lamp, and I'm also waiting for uh, my fate cards. I really want to do those insta kill darts. Oh man, I got to see. Uh, I saw a friend got some pretty cool loot. He got two of boots off of uh, some good uh, necks. Uh, my friend Buyer2222 got. I think I added too many twos there. Uh, Buyer222 got Pernix Chaps. He's a general in my friend's chat. A couple other people got some awesome loot. Um, I'm not going to be using my insta-kill darts solely for next. I might do two of them on next. i got to unlock next first. I still got to get that key and, and do all that. I haven't never visited next before, so I'm a little bit ugh, about, about that. I might get one-shotted because I don't know what I'm doing. But um, Anyway, I'm going to be using my darts. Uh, one of them I'm going to use on Jad. I know you're like, what? You're going to use it on Jad? No, I, I want to get a second fire cape, and I just want to get it out of the way. Um... And uh, I'm kind of lazy, and I don't really feel like <laughs> going nuts with it. So I'm going to use one on Jad so I can get a second fire cape, hand one of those fire capes in, and then use another one or two darts on the kiln cape, the, uh, you know, that whole thing. Uh, I think I can, I think I only need to use one on the head of uh, Hakar, Hakan, whatever the heck that boss's name is, is. If you can confirm that, let me know. I'm not entirely sure if I can use it in the kiln. Um, an insta kill dart. So if you could confirm that in the comments below, that'd be really cool, just to let me know. But I'm planning on doing that, and then the other two or whatever I have left over, I'm going to use for next. So that's how I'm going to do my insta kill darts, and all of my experience is going to be going into Slayer. If I got to 80 and I have a little bit left over, I might throw it into attack. So uh, that's how that's going to work. 
Let's move on to the second topic, crazy hobbies. Matt, what are your crazy hobbies? Uh, yeah, I, I chop off the heads of these wild dogs. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Uh, well, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway, crazy hobbies. Well, I kind of grew up in a household in which I, uh, you know, my dad's a magician. So he was a magician for 35 years. He kind of knows all the great magicians like Chris Angel. I got to go to Vegas and meet him. Um, if you've been on my channel, then you know that I uh, got to go to Vegas and uh, see Chris Angel's show. It was pretty interesting. Not the greatest show of all. I've seen a lot of other magic shows that were better. Uh, but I like Chris Angel. He's a pretty cool guy. Um, and I got his autograph, so it's kind of cool. Um, but I, I, I have... I know how to do a coin roll. I'll show you guys a clip of me doing a coin roll. Uh, in case you don't know what a coin roll or a chip roll is, if you ever watch the World Series of Poker, you'll see people like flipping a coin or like a chip or like whatever they're, they're flipping over their hand. That's a, a chip roll. So I'll show you what I, I do there. And um, I do some magic tricks. I do kind of coin tricks and stuff like that. And uh, kind of works over well with a lot of people that I hang out with. So uh, it's pretty cool. Anyway, that's one of my crazy hobbies. I'll move on, segue on. I don't want to spend too much time. Maybe in a future episode, I'll talk to you about some more of my hobbies. But I also do two-handed bowling. Uh, it's a style of bowling that's been developed uh, and coined by a professional bowler by the name of Jason Belmonte. Uh, pretty cool guy. Um, I never got to meet him, but uh, uh, I've kind of developed a style. And I actually got to bowl with Lee who is the, uh, I can't even talk, Lee, Lee is Regicidal, Regicidal 1, the, uh, RuneScape Rap Battles of History, hope he doesn't mind that I kind of uh, give him a quick little shout out there, but Lee is a really cool guy, I got to do some two-handed bowling with him uh, about a month ago, and it was, I think I said two weeks, it's actually been a month, I've kind of losing track of time, but uh, it's been about a month, and I, I got to hang out with Lee, and uh, and bowl with him right before we did the live stream. So it was really cool, awesome. I'm planning on bowling with him again. He's gonna have to come to one. Oh, I can't. I almost said my town. I almost said my town out loud. Ha ha ha! Not gonna tell you where I live. Okay. Anyway, he might come to my hometown. Quick, everybody, go to Lee. Ask where Matt lives. No, I'm just kidding. Uh. Okay. Let's just get off the subject. All right. Uh. But anyway, might do a vlog if you guys are interested in seeing how we bowl. It's kind of interesting. Um. When I bowled him last time, I, got, I shot like a 250, uh, sorry, no, I think I shot a 246, and he shot a 222, so um, if you know what bowling is, I mean, that that's what we did. Anyway, to get off that subject, anyway, let's move on to the final subject of the day, and that is the fact that the PJing and PvP timer, It's not. it may not be a timer, but the PJing is going to be fixed. He confirmed it, I'm going to roll a clip in a few seconds here, but it's been f confirmed by the fourth ever official RuneScape livestream that PJing will be fixed. I'm still advocating for this fix to come as soon as possible, not come in the new year. I don't really want to wait until the EOC comes out in 2013. I don't want to wait that long for the, the timer. I think we need it now. Um, so I'm advocating for that. Uh, I'm still contacting Mark and a couple other people, and I'm trying to get it forward so that we can get this out. But at least it's been confirmed. It will be fixed. Hooray. Finally, the player's voice has actually been heard. Oh, wow. Anyway, I'm going to roll the clip. If you don't believe me, here you go. Uh, there you go. We're also looking at things like um, player jacking, specifically. Evolution of Combat, for example, will fix the issue where when you eat food, you, um, you can suddenly drop out of combat with your opponent and someone else can come in and get involved. That's going to get fixed. We've also had lots more interesting conversations about um, uh, pile jumping, player jumping, um, so there's lots of small things that we're planning to do and a big old update at the beginning of the year. Anyway, so there you have it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this episode three of Let's Play RuneScape. I got a Santa hat PK commentary coming out tomorrow. And we got episode number four of this Let's Play series coming out on Wednesday. As long as we hit the like goal and hit the like button, guys, I really hope you guys can do that because I enjoy making these episodes for you and I get to talk about random topics for you. Anyway, have a good one, guys, and peace out.